we're not going to distinguish between the idea of shutting down a firm and a firm exiting an industry. When we say that a firm is shutting down, we mean that it stops producing, but it still physically exists. You could hang a sign on the door that says, we're closed for business. But when a firm exits an industry, it liquidates everything and the firm ceases to exist. It simply vanishes. There is no more door that you can hang a sign on that says we're no longer producing. But before we can distinguish between these two ideas, I need to add one more curve to this graph, and that is the long run supply curve. Now remember, supply curves are always portions of marginal cost curves. In the short run, this supply curve is the portion of the marginal cost curve that lies above the short run break even price above the point where the short run average cost curve crosses. In the long run, the break even price happens at the lowest point of the long run average cost curve. So that's where the supply curve in the long run is going to start. And it's going to be shallower than the short run supply curve that we've drawn. It's going to look something like this, where this is the long run supply curve. It starts at the break even price in the long run, the lowest point of the long run average cost curve. And it's shallower because when the price increases, initially you're going to produce more on the short run supply curve. But in the long run, you can produce even more than that at that price because you can more optimally adjust labor and capital. So the long run supply curve will look something like this. Now, go back to the idea of shutting down versus exiting. When we shut down, we keep the firm, but we're simply closing our doors. And we've already illustrated at what price that'll happen. At this break-even price, the firm will simply shut its doors and stop producing. But in the short run, it still exists. So this is the short-run shutdown price. It's simply the break-even price in the short run. In the long run, the break-even price happens at the lowest point of the long run average cost curve. So if the price falls below this, then in the long run, the firm can't make any profit. So the firm is going to liquidate and exit the industry. So the long run break-even price becomes our long run exit price. So you can now imagine a price starting way up here. When the price is up here, in the long run it will produce along the long run supply curve. As the price falls, eventually we'll hit this price where the firm, when given a chance, is going to liquidate its capital and exit the industry if the price falls below that. But in the short run, it can't liquidate its capital yet. It's still stuck with the fixed level of capital. So in the short run, it will continue to produce so long as the price is above the short run shutdown price. It makes sense for the firm to continue to produce in the short run while it has that fixed level of capital as long as the price is in between here, because at least the firm is going to be able to cover its labor cost and some of those expenses that are associated with the fixed level of capital and maybe any recurring fixed cost. But if the price falls down to the shutdown price, then even in the short run, the firm will simply close its doors and wait till it can liquidate its capital and then exit the industry.